to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to dockerize a Maven application. We, we will be doing this by using a docker file with all the instructions. But first, if this is your first time in the channel, I'll invite you to take a look to the channel's playlist where you will find a lot of free tutorials for Docker, Jenkins, AWS, Terraform, Ansible, SonarCube, Security, Bash, and more. Okay, first let me show you the application structure that I have for this Spring Boot application. I have here the pom.xml, I have the source file or the source uh, path where all my code is, and also I have the target. In the target, I can find the jar file, which is the one that I'm going to put in the Docker image, and then we will deploy it in a later video. But first, if you don't have a, an idea or you have any trouble by creating your jar file from your application, I invite you to take a look on the previous video where I explain you on an easy way how to generate a, a jar file. Okay, let's take a look on the docker file for, for this um, docker application. I'm going to do a cut for the docker file and let's see, it's a short file. In the first line, I'm specifying the base operating system, which is Alpine, and I'm selecting the latest version, and then I'm installing Java, because the application needs it to, for run, and I'm using the apk uh, add command and the openjdk11 for installing. Also, the apk command is useful for upgrading all the packages in the system, and after that, I'm creating an application or slash app uh, folder where my application will reside. After that, I'm copying the actual application, which was generated uh, by, by the Maven commands. And now I have the jar file or I have my application uh, package in a jar file. So I need to copy from my local to the actual docker image here in the app uh, folder. And finally, we have the CMD instruction in the docker file. This CMD, it will tell docker what to run when we start or when we hit the docker run command. In this case, I'm executing the shell with the option to execute a different command and in this case as a parameter i'm sending the java uh, hyphen jar and the path where my where my jar file is that's the way that i can execute the jar file from my cmd when i um, start the docker container then let's create a new docker image for this for that one, I'm going to use docker build. I'm going to assign the tag 1.1. I'm I'm going to use the no cache option because I don't want to, to reuse any information that I have in my system. I, I, I want to create the image from scratch. And I'm going to start now. As you can see, it just start to installing Java as it was uh, the second um, the second statement that I put in the docker file. It would take a, a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and resume when it is done. Okay, it just finished the installation and also the upgrade and my new image is there. I can confirm by running docker images. And here as you can see, this is the recently created one. Then, how can I verify that my application is there? I can do a docker run with these options and then use the entry point to get directly into the image. I'm going to paste this and here I can go to the app folder and do ls minus l. And here I can see the jar file. So we, this is this means that the application is in the Docker image already. But now, how can I execute this? Then I'm going to use docker run command, then the option P, and I'm going to specify the ports. I know that the application is running in the port um, 
1892 so I'm going to use the same if I hit this it will start the application Spring Boot will start and as you can see the application has started and now is running on the port that I'm specifying I can go to the browser and I can try with the local host and the port and now the application is up and it is running directly from the from the container if, if I stop the container the application will be gone as you can see okay this is all for this video in the next one I'm going to show you how to create the jar file and also the docker image but automatically from Jenkins please subscribe to the channel and let me know your comments thanks